find things that work and change it. I don't understand. Yes, we're not. I bet you're beautiful. You're going to be beautiful no matter what you do. Exactly. But, uh, uh, hey, listen, but that doesn't mean that there's not a preference. What? And I feel like to a certain extent. Look at how you're holding the camera. It's not even. I didn't know that. <laughs> I don't do this. I'm about to pull a Simone card. Seriously? I don't do this for a living. Right. Okay. I don't live my life on camera. What There's not a said? camera in my face all the time. Exactly. So I don't know. But you gotta no. Add, you gotta add some f bombs in there too. Oh yeah. She, <laughs> <laughs> she says. <laughs> 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 but no, seriously. Um, you can't. I don't. I feel like a man should have a say so in oh, the way yeah. his woman Whoa. looks Whoa. to a certain extent. To a certain extent. Not. I have a say so, but okay, yeah, she should respect. That. His I should wishes. respect what? No, okay. Um, yeah, choose but, your words wisely. Choose okay. your words wisely. What I'm trying to say is she should care and take a piece of consideration for what he may like more than something else. I'm trying here. I Obviously. just can't get my words together. <laughs> um, okay. When I see what you're saying. Bomb. I see what you're saying. You're okay. saying that I should take your opinion into consideration when mm -hmm. I'm thinking about changing yes. up my look. Yes. Which is debatable because... Debatable. Oh, okay. Because I'm going to do what I want to do regardless. But it doesn't mean that I'm not taking your opinion into consideration. I can take your opinion into, into consideration and still do what I want to do. I'm not saying that your opinion tr trumps my opinion. So if I want to get my hair cut short, it, say if I want to get cut all my hair off. You didn't want me to. I'd still take that in consideration, but I'd still probably cut my hair short. Really? Yes. Because if it was something that I wanted to do, it's my hair, my body, and at the end of the day, I'm not going to like, I, I love you, but I'm not going to put your opinion over my own, about myself. But, see, see, why should I go so deep? It's not you that deep. How I am. It's not that deep. Like, she don't have that deep, but it ends up the... being that deep because that, it looks surface level from the beginning. But it really is that deep because that's how like women like we we equate beauty to how other people perceive us a lot of times when that's not how it should be. It should be how You're you right. feel about yourself. That's, that's very so true. in that respect, very true. I'm going to take your opinion in consideration because you're the person that I love and you're the person that I'm with. But well, at the same time, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like make decisions based off well, Mark doesn't like short hair, so I'm not cutting my hair short. But that's not I, gonna happen. I didn't say that, babe. I know. But that's what I'm saying. Like and so I'm saying, like, regardless, I'm going to take your opinion into consideration. But I'm just saying that I'm not going to... That, your opinion, if it if it differs from mine and it's not persuading me to change my mind already, like, I'm still going to take it into, like, thought. But I'm not going to let, say, well, Mark doesn't like it, so I'm going to, like, not do that. Got it. Well, on that note, I guess we should go ahead and tell you two. What? Oh, oh she doesn't even know yet. What? I'm about to get so in dreads, okay? I've been wearing dreads all my life. <laughs> I'm about to get so in dreads because, quite frankly, we don't have you to consider where no somebody dreads. else wants to put in a head. So, look, hey, I'm about, about to get, get no so in dreads. dreads. Yep, I'm about to get so in dreads. You, ain't gonna even know, okay, mm. you don't even have no hair to sew in no dreads. My too. bad. I'm a glue in dreads. Glue. We're bringing glue back. See, sew in and got nothing on glue, okay? Oh bringing glue back. Or, or should I just go bald? I've been fighting that for a while. She don't want me to do it. I think I'm gonna do it. I don't think you should. I think that's something that like, like you should wait on that. Like when you need to go bald, go bald. But again, like I just said, if yeah, you want to yeah, go bald, you yeah, can go yeah. bald. Hey, like you just said, right? I know. Like I never said. said you couldn't. I just said I would prefer not. But what else? I'm gonna grow my chest hair out. What else should I, I do? I don't care about that. What else should I do? I'm gonna cut my eyebrows off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cut no, them. No, you just... need to have your brows. You I'm gonna cut my eyebrows smooth off. They're too thick anyway. Mm. No, no, no. They're we going need off. the brows. No, it's not, that's, no, 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 That's a non-negotiable. How is that not? Oh, really? Yes. Okay, well, cutting your hair is non-negotiable. Nope, doesn't count. Put my foot Does down. Does not count. Put my foot down. Does not count. No, hear that? Let me put my foot down. Hey, y'all. It is Wednesday. Um, I started my cycle today. 
sorry if that's TMI, but I'm feeling really like, bleh, bleh. I'm trying to get my life together because I have an event today that I'm on the panel for. And um, gosh, I wish I could just stay in my bed all day. Like that's really what I wanna do, but I can't. So I'm um, trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear because my plan was to go to the mall and find something to wear. Um, but I really don't want to even leave my bed. So the mall is just not going to happen. Um, so I mean, and I'm tripping because I have plenty of things to wear, but it's just that like, I don't know for events. I always feel like I have to get something new, but anyway, you know, it's random though. I always think about like when Beyonce gets her period, like how does she not skip the day like how does she not like you know just be like i'm not doing this today let me leave me alone like you know i i really believe that like beyonce doesn't have these type of days because i think that you know the amount of just goddessness that she has there's no way possible that she has days like this like where she just stays in bed all day and is cramping and having hot flashes and 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 wants to eat everything and feels fat and but at the same time I, you know I don't think she's human I think she's a goddess and I think that she's just you know I just don't believe she has days where she just like doesn't do anything in that respect in my attempt to be more like Beyonce um, I'm getting myself up and finding something to wear and figuring out what I'm gonna do with my hair. Um, I was not like being very proactive yesterday before I went to work out because I just wore a hat and didn't wear my breathable um, headband, which then allowed my edges to get very frizzy and very curled. And so I'm like, ugh, it's towards the end. We actually made it two weeks with straight hair, which is amazing. Um, and I've been using this dry shampoo from Ori Bay, so that has also prolonged my hair. And I could, I could stretch this for another week if I wanted to, but the great thing is that I'm going to get my hair cut on Saturday, which I just talked about that, so I kind of low-key forgot that I mentioned that already. Y'all, so my last sister is on this panel with me. Look what she brought. This is her, this is her shot. It's her shot in a cup. <laughs> She is too much, I swear. She's like the turn up freaking queen. But this is my other line, so that's my link. Nikia, hey! And then Alyssa is on the panel with me. It says there's a bar somewhere. There's a bar somewhere, so we're about to go get a drink before we uh, before we start today. Um, this is what I'm wearing, you guys can see. I'm gonna post other stuff, but I'm trying to hurry up because we're already late. Girl, pays the bills. I can't. I can't. Pays the bills. I but you get you, you get used to it. Like you get used to like remembering to pull out your camera like at every like waking moment. <laughs> no, but you can always you always have your phone though. Like you always have so like a lot of times if I don't have this, I'll like vlog on my camera on my phone. Yeah, basically it's not that much of a difference. I don't think people can tell. Well, sometimes they can tell like the difference, but they don't at the same Like it's not. Hey y'all, say say hi. Remember Gabrielle? Hello everyone. She had crochet like hair before. I know, I'm way different now. And now she has a new do. Way different. Really cute. <laughs> Looking real cute. But we're all. I my curls. All the no, it's still, it's still like some curls. Like, they were laid curls. Oh. And I got out the car and I was like, whoa. What just happened? No. <laughs> That's so unfortunate, but we got our drinks now, yay. <laughs> and we're gonna go into the room and like mix and mingle with everybody. Um, we're at this nice hotel, that's where the place is. I haven't even gone to the back room yet, but it's neither here nor there. It's super cute. It's cute? Okay, good, yeah. I'm good. She's got her All right. cute, so. Yeah, we're waiting for Gabby to get her drink and then we're gonna head back there. Is that I was putting out a lot of effort and not really getting that much in return. I was working really hard for somebody else, essentially. And I just thought to myself, if I exerted as much energy as I'm exerting into this company, into my own company, I could do it for myself. And so that's exactly what I did. That's what attracted me to wanting to do it on my own. And as far as support goes, I was kind of my own self motivation system sometimes it's hard to tell a lot of people about your vision and your goals sometimes it's best just to kind of motivate yourself and pump yourself as hard as that sounds but 
Um, I almost feel like whenever you start to tell a lot of people about your goals and you get the kind of negative, sometimes you will get negative feedback and it dampers your thoughts versus if you just run with your own passion and your own ideas without anybody else's you know, criticism or opinions, um, I think that's sometimes you can blossom more that way. I started really young. I opened my company when I was 14 and that was a pastry company. I loved cookies. Like I still love cookies, but I love a lot more things, which is why I'm now a chef, but back then I was a pastry chef. And so um, I would sell cookies. Well, actually, let me back it up. My mom made me sell cookies at my high school that I went to. And I, me and my twin, I have a twin and we were like new kids on the block. And my classmates didn't like me. They used to bully us. And so I started making cookies so that they would like me. <laughs> In my mind, that made sense. And so I started doing that. And then my mom was like, Gabby, you're taking up all the butter and sugar at the house. Like you need to contribute to the grocery list. So you need to charge me a 50 cents every time you sell a cookie. And so that's how I started being an entrepreneur. Um, Fast forward to now, I hate working for people. I've worked at restaurants on the line as a pastry chef. Um, I've worked corporate, like health and nutrition and food management, hated that. And so I've just realized like I'm terrible at working for other people. Like I'm the most defiant employee you'll ever have. I won't wear the dress code. I'll come in late, leave early type. Like I'm not good at that type of stuff, but when it comes to me and my brand and my craft, like I could do it every day, all day. And so that's what made entrepreneurship attractive to me. Hey y'all, it's Thursday and I am feeling really crappy today and um, feeling even more tired and stuff than I did yesterday. So I've been like chilling all day. I'm refusing to film or work on anything because I just need to give myself a break today. I know, I know Beyonce wouldn't give herself a break, but I'm not Beyonce, unfortunately. I'm not, I'm giving myself a break today. And um, yeah, so. I'm watching Sisterhood of Hip Hop, which I actually really like this show uh, because I think it's a unique perspective on women in like the music industry and like their like trials and tribulations. I mean, it's still reality TV, of course, but I think it's like a good show. Like, if y'all watch it, let me know. I really, I really like it, and I want to support their music because they're out here really working. Like this, this show isn't like fake, fake. Like it's real life for them, and so. I want to support, but anyway, I'm watching that and I'm about to order some food. Um, I'm getting way too, way too dependent on Postmates, but it's just so convenient. Um, so yeah, NFL games start tonight, which means that Mark is going to be a crazy person for the next five months or so. You guys will see he is on another level. We're also going to a Cowboys game on Sunday, which I'm super excited about, obviously. We're in Dallas. He's from Dallas. We're bringing my dad. So um, I'm excited because my dad has never been to the Cowboys Stadium. I've been there a few times for different like um, high school games because they play different uh, games in the stadium itself. I've been to high school games, college games, and stuff like that in there. But I don't, you know what? I don't think I've been to an actual Cowboys game in the stadium. Like I've seen Beyonce in the stadium and like gone to games, but I haven't actually watched a Cowboys game in there, I don't think. So um, it'll be fun. I'm excited to have my dad with me and Mark and it's um, his family, his uncle does like uh, big tailgating every so often at the games and so we'll be tailgating and then going into the game um, for a couple quarters or whatever to just check it out and like have that experience. So we're excited, it's gonna be fun. Good morning y'all, it is Friday and I am up early filming slash getting ready to work out and filming again so I have my hair in these braids because I am filming my straight back to curly video in the midst of like trying to get other things done um, and so I am drinking my bang of course bang it's so good if you guys have not tried this yet like it is crack literally and gives you so much energy uh and so i'm watching youtube videos i'm watching my girl brianna if you guys don't follow don't follow her she's bomb like she her just her content in general 
is just amazing and just aesthetically like she just has such good taste and um, I love watching her and she's such a sweet girl um, yeah if you don't follow her already Minnie Marley on YouTube like you totally should and she yeah she's just awesome and she's having a baby so that's super exciting and um, if you're watching this Brianna I'm so happy for you and congrats to you and the boo um, excited to see you guys as a little bundle of joy Sorry y'all, I forgot to vlog when I was getting my hair cut, but this is the final result. She hooked it up once again. It looks so good and it's just perfection as usual. But um, next time I come, I will record her cutting my hair and everything. She's bomb. She's the only person that cuts my hair. Hiya, go follow her on Instagram and all that stuff. But yeah, this is it. So we just randomly ate at Cece's Pizza <laughs> in um, the middle of nowhere, Texas. I really think that low-key, all those people in there are Trump supporters. Didn't they look like they would support him? <laughs> but you know, it's like that's like so many like country bumpkin towns in Texas are like... I don't know better. I went to this camp and spoke to some students from my alma mater. Um, at this program that I helped create when I was in college and it's a program for African-American students when they first get to college and it's like a off-campus experience where they learn about themselves, they learn leadership skills and um, get connected with each other and the university and all this stuff um, and I helped create it you know when I was an undergrad and so I went back to speak to them and kind of see how things were and all this stuff and um, so we were literally in the middle of nowhere so we stopped and got Cece's Pizza which we both hadn't had in a long time um, he said it was <laughs> he said it was a bad idea um, I don't think it was a terrible bad idea I mean I don't think it was a terrible idea it was still decent to me like I still like Cece's even though like I, I wouldn't choose that anymore, but um, you know, when you're a kid, like you gotta eat CC's because your parents like, got money like that. Every week now, Mark is gonna have a hashtag for the week, and you guys can, you know, respond, hashtag it down below, hashtag it on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Show that you watched the vlog. Watch it, like hashtag like Cowboys. This you week? Know, hashtag football. Like, how many women legit like football? Like, y'all actually watch it, you know who plays on the teams, like, like, who legit does that? Like, you watch football with your boyfriend, maybe I'll watch, I'll watch football with him, See, that's but like, I don't, per I don't, I don't, like, I don't know, like, I feel like it's default because we're in Texas, like, football is everything, so you kind of have to be a fan, I and being in Dallas, like, you kind of have to be a Dallas Cowboys fan, um, so oh, yeah. it's she's, like she's wearing a cowboy jersey to the game tomorrow. She yes, is. I am. She yes, is. I am. I'm gonna be supportive and I'm gonna be, you know, involved and participate. I have a question. So, what if my name is not Jay Kendall? I'm not lipstick curls, but I want to have the lipstick curls look. Can I use head and shoulders? Can I use wind? <laughs> if you want lipstick and curls, curls without spending a lot of money. You need to get your basics. Just get a bomb conditioner and use that. Like, 
a lot of times I will use my conditioner in the shower. I will detangle, I'll do everything, and I will just leave it in and let my hair dry, and that's it. I tried that, but like my curls won't act right. You know, I don't know what it is. <laughs> like my curls just <laughs> won't act right. They won't grow. Like growth well, this is, is my number one problem. So you have to deep condition on a regular basis. Deep condition. My it's scalp? not always about products. Oh, it's not so, always okay. about products. Maybe it's true. a lot of it is about technique and how frequently you are moisturizing and how frequently you're cleansing and all that stuff because a lot of the issues that people have with their hair you try to solve a technique problem or a health problem with a product and that's not necessarily going to give you the results that you want the only thing i care about is when we're cuddling her hair is never itching my face that's the best thing ever like my hair doesn't itch about. your face never itches my it's surprising, right? I'm like, yo, I'm the first time I cuddle with you. I was like, I don't know if I want to lay next to you. Oh, because you thought because that my curls are going to be itchy? Guess what? They didn't itch my face. Because they're <laughs> soft, what? right? They hella soft. <laughs> Gentlemen, get the good stuff. Your face won't itch. That's, that's the two major problems of cuddling. Your face itching and you're on falling asleep. Yeah. So I think, you know, we've solved both of those. Which, yeah. Which is a major key. Yeah, it is. It is a major key because we like to cuddle, so. Yeah, major key. <laughs> no face itching. Oh my gosh. I love it. It's like pillows. It's like laying in hair pillows. Yeah, and right? it smells good too. Yeah, right. Like what? Going natural could be the thing that saves your relationship. What? Basically. I'm, I'm trying to tell you. That's the truth. <laughs> The first thing I thought was like, yo, you make know him fall in love with you. Get you some soft curls. Get you some softies. Soft curls. <laughs> soft curls. And hey, that's a hashtag. Hashtag soft curls. <laughs> hashtag soft curls. Hashtag cuddle hair. Hashtag cuddle hair. hair. Best thing in the world. Like, if we were ever doing anything in the truck fell out. I'm Boy. laughing. That's hilarious. I mean, I would laugh at that point because it's kind of like you, like that's kind of like your worst fear, but just low key, like something that could easily happen at any moment. Whenever you wear tracks, is like at any moment, like my leave out could come up and you see my track. I, like I jerk wrong and like something gets caught on my hair and my track comes out. I don't you know, see like track, but like I don't want to see it too early. Like let me guess. Let me have to guess. Is it yours or is So it you'd rather yours? guess? Would you want do you if I were trust would you want to know like would you want to know like in the beginning like hey like I wear tracks or like I wear weave or you know like what how does that ha conversation happen? Well or see, is it even a conversation that people have? Not not really a conversation. But the problem is that if I find out by looking at your hair because I see a track, that's a major turn off. That's a turn off. That's, that's, that's disgusting. Really? Like, let me guess and run my fingers through it and feel a track and say, oh, she, okay, you know what, well, she does it. Don't let me, like, just be staring at you from 10 foot, 10, 10 feet across the room and, and I see, see a track. Oh. That's disgusting. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see, oh. no, no. Dang. But, I mean, I don't mind you wearing them. It's totally fine. Yeah. But make me have a guess. Like, make me want to so run my fingers So basically, when you wear right. your your weaves and stuff, because y'all know I wear clippings sometimes too. Like, I have no shame in my game. I wear a wig or whatever, but you got to lay it. It has to be slayed is basically what he's saying. In 2016, like, it's expected. <laughs> everything is in 2016 you know? for you. In 2016, it's expected that the majority of women, even white women, Wear clip-ons, weave, extensions, some sort of extra hair in their heads. Yeah. So the key is, we don't want to see it. I don't want to know about it before I even meet you. Because then you'll be known as the girl that I saw her track before how you walked up to it. <laughs> I saw your track before I saw you. Hey, what up, girl? I see them tracks, <laughs> hey! <laughs> no, that's terrible. That's a good line. Hey, no? But I just want to tell you that, you know, I see a track and you may want to flip. It, so oh, that's how you like meet somebody. You know what? I I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if some girls thought that that was like, like endearing, like for a man to be like, hey, like your track is showing, like let me like help you out. Yeah, I think like a lot of girls would a, like that low key. Like that's a great icebreaker. Like that's how I met her. Like, like genuine. Like we was at the park, or whatever. So I walk up, I'm like, hey, babe, I just want to tell you, you know, you're beautiful, but I kind of see your track from over there. Oh, that's so if you how. Just wanna, that's like, how we met. Flip your hair a little bit. Then that's we're not, good. That's not. Then you flipped it. And I was like, oh wow. And she listens. I gotta get her now. <laughs> so full of it. Okay, speaking of bonnets, you was tripping before when I had my bonnet on. Yeah, I'm not a, not a fan of bonnets. Listen, that's time and place for everything. Okay, 
okay. I had to set my hair for the next day. Bonnets aren't for the bedroom. Like, you need a bonnet out in the, in the bathroom, right? You put the bonnet on. But the thing is, the whole, point, I want my the whole in the point of the bonnet is like so that your hair doesn't get messed up as you sleep at night. Listen, once again, it's 2016, okay? There should be better ways to keep your hair intact. So maybe that's a great business opportunity for somebody. Design something that looks good in the bedroom. Because a bonnet, especially her bonnet, it's this really big one. It's like a 3XL. I got a lot of hair. It's like a 3XL. It is a big. Satin. It is a big bonnet. It it's, is a oh big, my gosh! But like, I love that bonnet. It's like bomb because it's so no. big. So even when I wear like really big like flexi rods or perm rods, like it fits all over. And all over. Her apparel matches the bonnet. It's crazy. My apparel like she looks matches. Like, yeah, like you look every bit of like somebody that's gonna wear a bonnet to sleep. Like there's no mixing. What? Like she wears the bonnet with these big ass red pants. <laughs> Don't talk about my pants. <laughs> like, it's like yo, what happened? Yo, I have these. She has thirty it. years to go to bed. It's like yo, you you were twenty five. No, now okay. You're 65. So listen, y'all, I have these. I love these pants. They're. They're these like red, like Asian, like looking like silk kimono pants that I love to go to sleep in. They're terrible. I got them at a clothing swap. It was like random. And I love them. I wear them all the time, but he hates them. They're he terrible. hates them. I love them. They're so comfortable. I, mean, I don't like them, but she knew I didn't like them when she started wearing them with a bunny. It's like she just made <laughs> the, the bonnet was too much. It looked worse. It just, so I saw it with the bunny. I'm much. like, yo. It was too much together at one time. I've never seen that before. First time she did it, I stepped in the chair. <laughs> I stepped in the chair. Worst pass of all time. That's how we show up to games. Like this. Run with the winners. Throw up the X. DC for life. Let's eat, baby. Hey.